Hello everybody, my name is Uchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2. I am back with another Let's Play. This will be my sixth Let's Play for this game. Uh, it's been updated. There's a new map, which we're going to check out. Hey, new title screen. Looking pretty good. All right, let's get into it. New game. Let's go, Uchara Systems. Company headquarters in Canada. Let's change our special genre. Just, you get a 3% boost to the review result, and your fans never get bored of it. Um, so generally, you want to do something early game. Makes your life a little easier. Um, I think I'll actually go sports game. We're only going normal difficulty. Medium difficulty, I guess it's called. So I don't think I need the boost. I want to do something different, right? I've never really done sports. Um, so yeah, medium. Everything else, normal. Except, of course, the abandoned bunker. Which I haven't even looked at it yet. I'm hoping it's nice and big. Um, let's just go with what we went with last time. So game design programming, but really just an all-rounder for myself. Um, we will go with Talented. We learn faster. We're uh, an all-rounder. So our secondary ability limit is increased, which goes well, obviously, with Talented. Um, imaginative, better at making sequels. And this one, Efficient, just all-around better, which is always a good one, in my opinion. So let's jump into it here. Um, disable tutorial, yes. Um, I'm going to do random platform popularity. Um, I do the platform popularity increases platform lifetime. Let's do that. We've never tried that one. Um, random game concept settings. Sure. Just making it give us some difficulty since we're only on normal difficulty, right? And let's go. All right. Oh, this looks interesting. It literally is a bunker. Oh, wow, this is big. <laughs> this is okay. This is really big. This is a lot of space. Okay. Because the, the manor, I think it is, that map has like no space. I did not particularly enjoy that one. All right. So let's throw it on pause here. I'm curious how much is like would this be? Only a million. And that's 1.5, 1.3. So yeah, I'll, I'll have all four of these pretty quick. The rest of them are pretty large. I guess this one's only seven. But the rest of them are pretty big, probably all over a hundred. But yeah, only 91 for this one. I guess it's not quite as big. But yeah, this is, I feel like other than like the just sandbox map, whatever, I feel like this one has the most space. All right, so let's get some rooms here. I'm trying to get a feel for how big this is. Let's throw a lounge here. Boom. Oh, we screwed up. I didn't click the button. <laughs> How much money will I lose if I sell this room? So I just cost myself $30,000 for, for no reason. Well, because I'm lazy is the reason. Automatically place furniture. There. Now I don't have to place the furniture. <laughs> Save myself time and effort. That th I'm not too worried about that $30,000. So. If I'm being honest. No, no, let's put the door here. Yeah. There we go. Two toilets. Perfect. I'm, I'm not sure about having a rug in the bathroom, but hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that this is about the same size as the starting area on the normal map, I feel. Yeah, is it? Maybe it's a bit bigger. It's hard to tell might be bigger actually yeah let's put the door there all right so it's full holy crap that's a lot of you know that's bigger that's a lot of that 13 desks and we can we can actually fit 13 people in here okay so um let's hire some more people <laughs> got a researcher game tester game designer we don't really want we want the game designer for sure. We want the researcher for sure. Let's get a research room going here. That yeah, should be enough. I'm hoping. I just want three desks. Only two, only two desks. I'm pretty sure I could get rid of this coffee machine. Get a third desk in here somehow. 
I mean, we have a copy machine right there. We don't need one in here. All right, let's see. Can we get a third desk in here? We did. All right. And yeah, so so I'm checking here because basically you can usually fit more desks in a room than your employees are comfortable with. So essentially this number here is the number of desks you can have in here before people feel overcrowded. So three equals three, so that works, right? Like if I move stuff around, I could probably fit a fourth desk in here. Like if I go here, 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 but if I had four people in here, they'd feel overcrowded and I'd be no further ahead, essentially. All right, so I know these are game design people, but we're gonna do a little research. Here's a researcher. Wait, what happened to the other person? Oh, did I accidentally hire the wrong person? Apparently I did. I did not mean to hire the game tester already. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so racing is the trend, but racing is hard to make. We're probably just gonna do skill games and puzzle games at the start. All right, since we have somebody over here doing nothing, might as well get them to do some contract work. Hopefully they can get it done in time. If it looks like they're, he's not, he, she, he, Ludwig. Hey, we got Ludwig. <laughs> it looks like they're not gonna, Ludwig's not gonna finish in time. We'll add somebody. All right, so let's go arcade joystick support. And once this is done, we'll move everybody, except our researcher, back over to the other room. The researcher can stay in the research room. I know that's shocking, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, so is there any other employees? I'm almost out of money, that's fine. Oh, we got all kinds of, let's go with another researcher. Although hiring too many people too fast, I think gave me problems last run. So I don't wanna go too crazy. I'm not gonna hire people if they're like good. Like if they don't have any bad traits, which this one doesn't. I'm not gonna force it. I would like to get this sound person though, just so I kind of have all four things covered, right? It's way more people than I need, so they'll get through this contract work pretty quick. Meanwhile, oh, new research, local high scores. I am not gonna wait for that. I'm just gonna make a game. We wanna make a contract game. Um, so I only need a 15% review score to get the bonus if I make this game for this company. Let's just do that for our first game. Our topic will be agents, rainbow world, sure. Skill game, let's go teenagers. Now, we don't get to, to change some things because it's a contract game. There's no engines available yet, obviously. That'll come relatively soon, but we're not at that point yet. We have no experience in any of these things. So this game is not gonna be very good. We don't know where any of these sliders are supposed to go because we randomized it. Like you can look up on Steam where these sliders are supposed to go in a normal game. We randomized it. So we can't even use like intuition to put these sliders where they're supposed to go because we randomized it. Let's turn on everything here. So we're barely gonna make any money off this game, but it's more about getting some experience at this point. I mean, I could take these two things off, but I also kind of want to get experience, right? I mean, it's $4,000. Getting experience is, is more valuable, I feel, at this point. The money's, the money's whatever. If we need to, if we run out of money, we can take out a loan, right? It's fine. We're only on normal difficulty here. Like if we were on one of the higher difficulties, we would have to, you know, do certain things. <laughs> 40 to 60 estimated review score. That's way over 15%. So let's hand over the game. We get experience in all these different things. So our next game will be a little better, right? Look at that, 58%. And we made $5,000, which admittedly isn't much, but that's okay. So let's make a, let's try a puzzle game this time. 
Well, I don't think any of these topics really fit puzzle necessarily. We will call this Edge Maze. That sounds like a puzzle game kind of, right? Not really, but whatever. It's all good. But we later on, we can make a Sonic clone, right? Once we get Platformer, we can make a Sonic clone. Um, obviously, we'll go with the platform that has the most users. Eventually, we'll be able to add you know, more platforms. I think you need to do five games for this one. 10, 15. Hey, we got a star in all this stuff now, right? So that'll help. This is a puzzle game. We don't know where to put this stuff. Actually, I'm pretty sure gameplay. When you randomize all these sliders at the start of the game in the options, it doesn't randomize these ones. It's just those. So let's go like, let's try that. Now we'll turn everything on, get experience in it, right? Um, so yeah, so for anybody's not aware, there's a color for each of these. If if the color is red, it means this feature is not doesn't apply. Don't don't put it in. Yellow means it applies, but it's not amazing. But if there's green, which there's none here, but there was on the last game, green means it's very important for that genre. And that's why on the first game that I made, originally I, I took off the two green things. Let's research American football since it's a trend. I only left the two green things on that first game because I knew they were important. But then I was like, eh, I'd rather get the experience, right? And so 50 to 70 is fine. Um, I could, I could keep developing it a bit longer to get some bugs out because 33 is a lot of bugs. Um, but we're just going to push it out. Um, we're going to go. I personally like chasing market strength and plus the, um, fan base likes puzzle games which is what this is so we're gonna go with hudson i know some people um in the comments my last run were like no go for the dollar amount but i've always came from the school that market strength is more important but hey i could be wrong at 62 percent that's not bad for a first game of that genre so 1800 sales that's pretty good so let's do this commission work right quick this will give us some money to play with because we don't have a lot of money to play with right now, obviously. <laughs> um, so we have some money to play with now. So let's um, actually make an update for Hedge Maze. Sales are really good on it there now. So let's uh, put everything we can, make it better. We'll also get rid of all the bugs. Um, that's why I wasn't too worried about making the original game bug free because I knew I was going to make it bug free at this point. Um, I guess I should learn racing since it's the trend, right? That's probably a good idea, right? I would say. Ooh, sales are sales went up again. That's good. Fifty-three hype. Where did they get all the hype? My um, publisher must have done some marketing for it. It's the only thing that really makes sense there. All right, so new game. So let's make a skill game with the topic American football hey it is the trend I don't know if it really makes sense let's call this field goal kicker that's all it is I mean year is 1976 I think it's a little early for a full football game so we'll have a skill game just about kicking field goals right it's logical it makes sense of course you don't need to make sense in this game necessarily Throw the tapple in there. Okay, getting better at everything there. Turn on all the languages, which... Did I turn on all the languages for Hedge Maze? Might not have. Oh, well. If I didn't... It's, well, it's not too late now. I can do it in an update, I guess. For sports game? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where to put those sliders. Or, sorry, this isn't a sports game. This is a skill game. <laughs> right um so it's not sports still not sure where to put it for skill though i want to say yeah, try that i guess maybe so yeah so you can see here these three are green so they're very important for skill games whereas keyboard support and pause function aren't quite as important we're going to turn them all on though because we want to make our games the best they can be at this point Oh, 
Uh oh, bugs detected in hedge maze. Buyers of the game hedge maze have reported bugs that our quality control is overlooked. Yes, our non existent quality control. <laughs> a longer polishing period reduces the chance of bugs going undetected. It would be advisable to develop a patch as soon as possible. As soon as this game is done, I will do that. All right, so racing is done. So if we're going to do a racing game, we should probably have something, a topic that fits, like say stock car fits racing, right? We don't want to do an American football racing game. For some reason, I don't think that's going to work. All right, so we're just going to continue development a little bit, get these bugs down after what happened with Hedge Maze. We get the bugs down under 20, and then we'll put it out, and then we'll do a patch for Hedge Maze. Then we'll do a patch for field goal kicker, probably. All right, so let's go data west. Well, we could go mid. Let's do middle because it's a skill game. All right, so we'll see how this sells. It'll be curious. If the review scores are similar, which I think they will be, and this one's a little higher, but it'll be interesting to see which game is more profitable, which game sells more, so we can kind of compare, right? which publisher was better to go with. All right, so free update, edge maze, get rid of all 11 bugs. Okay, all the languages must be on because it's not letting me add languages. I must have had all the languages on, right? In theory, at least. All right, so now I feel like there's new topics. Like I feel like ancient China was not a topic before. Like there's a lot of topics here. Jungle. I'm just trying to think of what else is new. I feel like most handball, Greek mythology, I'm pretty sure is new. Right? Helicopters. Can we do a helicopter racing game? Ooh, horse racing. I bet we can do horse racing. In theory. Maybe. Alright, so let's do an update for field goal kicker. No, let's do this commission work first. Bang that out, because it's actually pretty valuable. Um, commission work as well. Like the, the payment for the contracts is pretty good. Definitely worth my time. I don't think I've ever made a horse racing game in all my playthroughs of Mad Games Tycoon. I don't think that's one I've done. All right, so quality assurance is two hundred thousand dollars, which is a little more than I have right now. So let's actually do subtopic, so we can put two topics in there, which will let us um like get experience in two topics at once. That's a very good early game. Okay, so there was some, oh, we got all kinds of money now. All these contracts, plus we got two games selling well. Okay, so let's do the update for field goal kicker, get the bugs out of this one. 19 bugs, gone. This little bug indicator should go away. So we're learning. Look at our, our weekly sales are way better for hedge maze, right? Compared to field goal kicker. Now, field goal kicker might go up um, because I just get rid of the bugs. Like you look at the user reviews, your user reviews are not good. So I'm thinking, I mean, this, this game I'm about to make is probably the last game I'm gonna make without a QA department, but I think I'll polish it till the bugs are gone. I don't like the fact that this got so many negative reviews, right? I don't. Yeah, I just don't like that. So let's go racing. Let's go horses. We'll call this the Derby. Um, adults? Sure. I have no idea if horses actually works as a racing game, but we're about to find out. <laughs> We're better or worse. Getting better at making games for the Tapple. Getting better at all this engine stuff, right? So we'll start getting review scores over 70 and then 80. You know, and then we get the big sales. And, you know, we can start fine-tuning these, these sliders, right? It'll all come. Pretty sure we want technical points for a racing game. Turn all five of these on. None of them are super important, but they all apply. Here we go. Okay, so field goal kicker sales did jump now that we got the bugs out and there's been a, um, an update. 
Yes, we can now make spin-offs because the sales figures of one of our games is high enough. Um, which would be what? Over 50,000, I guess. Yeah. So we can make spin-offs, which is kind of like a sequel. But once we get valuable IPs, intellectual properties, we can start making sequels and spin-offs. It's one of the most reliable ways of making money. All right. So yeah, estimated rating is only 40 to 60. But I think racing games are just harder to make a good game. Like it's easier to make a good skill game at this at this stage of like the playthrough because of the fact that three of the five features are considered green, right? Let's put three games. Well, we must well put all three of our games in, so this will give them some height. Oh, and mm, a big part of the reason why Hedge Maze is selling so much better, for some reason it has way more hype. It was now they both the hype on both just went up because we're at the game convention or whatever. But uh, yeah, it was like forty five and two. <laughs> but we're making more per game on field goal kicker, right? All right, I clearly need a third researcher. Oh my god, there's eleven researchers available. <laughs> just in general, there's way more people available than I'm used to seeing. All right, so we got our pick of the litter here. I mean, for a researcher, Locky is good. All-rounder isn't really good for researchers. That's really only good for developers. Contract work. I mean, this efficient is probably the best thing for a researcher. Locky is nice. No field goal kicker has secret bugs. All right, so we're waiting for Derby. Waiting for them to get rid of those last nine bugs. They're going down awfully slow, though. This quality assurance room is taking a long time to research. And come on, get rid of that last bug. Okay, so now that the last bug's gone. <laughs> yeah, the most necessary work in this game is completed and is ready for release. If you want, you can continue working on the game and make improvements. However, we already did the polishing phase. So search publisher. Um Let's go with Hudson again. You want to develop a relationship with um, publishers as well. The more hearts you have, I think, the more likely they are to do uh, marketing, it seems. Ooh, I got, uh, I am now a garage company. I got half a star up here. Hey, 67%, that's not bad. I think that's the exact same as Field Goal Kicker was. Speaking of Field Goal Kicker, let's get rid of these surprise, oh, two whole bugs. Hey, we got more positive reviews than the negative from our from our uh, buyers, our fans, our players, whatever you want to call it. So we're waiting for this quality assurance to be done. I want to get a QA room. I'm pretty sure one of the people in here too is technically a dang game tester. So at least we'll have at least one person that we can put in that room. Is there any more out there on the market? There's one game tester. Uh, unlucky. I don't like that, but I want to make sure I have some, right? Um, let's grab another topic. Let's grab something that's just kind of should fit a lot of different genres. Like, I usually go like fantasy, but like assassin should work too, right? All right so, QA room. All the rest of the space up. Door there. Automatically place furniture. Only six desks. Eh, that's okay. That's fine. All right, so which one of you folks is actually a game tester? Dagmar Elstrup. Well, Dagmar Elstrup, you're moving over there. All right, so let's do some game reports for all the games I made. Let's see if we can get through those. Find out where we went right. Find out where we went wrong. And then we can use that information to make our future games even better. But I'd like to get at least two more people in this room. So hopefully, okay, new week. I think that means new employees, no game testers. All right, so let's take a look at these game designers and programmers. Is there anybody that's really, like, has good perks, good traits? I do like all-arounder. I do like efficient. I don't like immunocompromised. But 
I think the two good traits was is enough to out uh, outdo the bad trait. All right, so programmers, we got. I mean, doesn't take breaks is nice. Movement speed is increased. See, but they're not going to go on breaks, so the movement speed is kind of less important. But it's nice to have another program. Get through these contracts faster, right? All right, what do we want to research here? I mean, we could research adventure. It's the negative trend right now, so we're not going to make an adventure game until the trend changes. But hey, once the trend changes, right, we'll be making one. All right, let's grab another. Well, like trucks. Is trucks a topic? So we can make a truck racing game. Ooh, the Derby is actually selling really well. All right, so they're done of the game reports. Just waiting for this group to get through one more research, and then we'll make a... Um, well, I'll probably do a puzzle game, I guess. Maybe we should try to grab... Um, What works for puzzle? Ooh, candy. We can make a candy crush. We can call it Candy Crash. What happens to kids whenever, <laughs> whenever they stop eating candy? All right, so let's do an update for the Derby while we wait for candy to be researched. Boom, done. All right, so Candy Crash coming right up. But that is actually going to wait till episode two. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let know in the comments if you're excited for another Mad Games Tycoon 2 Let's Play. I know people have been popping into my streams asking me for more Mad Games Tycoon 2. So here we are. Um, also, consider joining my Discord. Um, consider supporting me on Patreon. It would be greatly appreciated. Links in the description to both of those. But most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.